Meditation is very helpful. It's a common question that comes up. Um, you know, do I have to meditate? It's very helpful. Nothing survives the cushion. No matter what it is. To sit down and, and be still. And Kind of like when you put bread in the oven, you know, just to bake the bread. Can't hurry it. And I'm just sitting there. Because the stress and the, and the difficulties of, of, of life are all thought-based. It's a thought. And it can be a very powerful thought. I'm not dismissing it. Like, oh, it's just a thought. It can be like a gripping, all-encompassing, years and years of believing it thought. I must meditate can be one of those thoughts. <laughs> there's, no, there's no must. It just, what is noticed here is that it can be very, very helpful to just sit down like brushing the teeth or taking a shower. Because at some point, the thoughts lose something. They lose some weight. They lose some energy. They lose some density through sitting there. I was at a Zen Center in Southern California, 2004, three, and the teacher was giving a talk. And I said, how come there's no dancing in Zen? And he said, we practice the hard things because the easy things are easy. And at the time I was like, rah, 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 rah. And now it's it's it makes sense, you know. It's it's hard to just can be depending on on the personality. It can be very hard to just sit there. Until it's not, and then and then then it seems to just be what it is. It's not even that it leads somewhere. It just sort of you know you know you're gonna die. You still brush your teeth. You still wipe your ass, even though you know you're gonna die. You know, it's kind of like that. It's like, it doesn't have to be a point to meditation to enjoy sitting still. And again, the experience here is that the, the thoughts don't survive. The emotions don't survive. Nothing survives the cushion. And there's a space, this space, <laughs> that... Uh, that is so obvious. Oh. And if meditation is undertaken for a purpose, again, kind of like brushing the teeth or, or wiping the ass, you know, it's, I'm heading somewhere. I'm going to make these things so white, <laughs> even as they fall out. You know, it, it's, it's kind of got that same, like, it's not, it doesn't lead anywhere. Except perhaps there's not as many toothaches, you know, and, and obviously there's not the social awkwardness of smelling like shit, you know, and meditation is very similar. There's sort of like, there's less, there's less ache. In some way, there's less suffering. Since suffering really is a thought, when there's less of those, <laughs> this space, this crystal clear freshness is kind of the byproduct of it. But it's never missing. It's just there are thoughts and there are not.
Thanks for your time.